Well, MPs are returning to their constituencies for the weekend to find out at first hand what their voters think of the scandal. Many will be campaigning for local and European elections on the back of a terrible week for Labour, the Tories and the Lib Dems. And there's concern that the damage done to those three parties will see a surge in support for fringe parties. Sally Bidolf reports on the fears of an electoral backlash. Martin Bell is the original independent MP. He stood for anti-corruption and won, taking the seat from Neil Hamilton in the wake of the Cash for Questions scandal. Martin Bell is duly elected a Member of Parliament for the Tatton constituency. More than a decade on, he remains outspoken and thinks the expenses scandal has damaged politics. I think the political fallout is immense. People are really angry and they're right to be angry. And it is probably going, it's going to benefit candidates outside the mainstream, not just of the smaller parties, but I think independents and anyone who takes it into his or her mind to stand against one of these miscreants who hasn't been deselected. A poll out today suggests Martin Bell could be right. It asked how people intend to vote in the European elections in June. The Tories came top with 28%, but that's down nine points since March. Labour were also down at 19%, matched by the Liberal Democrats. But for the UK Independence Party, that same figure is an increase of 12% in just two months. Top politicians are running scared. They fear the expenses scandal could channel voters away from the mainstream parties, diluting their power. Of course people are angry, they have a right to be. Of course there's got to be dramatic change. Everybody at least agrees about that. But let's also recognise long-term damage from the choices and decisions that only the electorate themselves can make. Many are sensing the weakness. New parties like the jury team campaigning for more independent MPs. We were set up with a governance agenda to clean up politics, to make MPs independent, not lobby fodder, to have them have proper uh, salaries and expenses, just like other public servants. And that from a man who used to run Conservative HQ. He, like many others, believes the current system is flawed. Sally Bidolf, News at 10.